Hi, my name is Marcus Buckingham, and my mission is to help people to find out what their strengths are, what their passions are, and then put them to work. And all of us think that we've got strengths, we've got gifts, we've got passions inside of us, and we hold out hope that in our life we're going to have a chance to contribute those, to express those, to get the world to see the best of ourselves. We want the kind of satisfaction that will bring, and we want the kind of success that will bring. But if you actually ask people, do you have a chance to express your strengths at work? Only about one out, of ten, one out of 10 of us, one out of 10 of us actually do. Now, we work with companies around the world to try and help them to, to build workplaces where people put their strengths to work. But frankly, we figured out that it's got to start earlier, that you've got a whole load of people joining the workforce who have no idea how to identify what their strengths are, who don't know what to do with their life, who don't know how to find a job that fits the best of them, and who don't know then how to thrive in the jobs that they do end up in. So for me, the most important thing was to start with people just beginning their careers. Start with people that have just graduated from school or from college or, or just beginning their working life and tell them, how do you find out what your strengths are? How do you find a job that fits those strengths? And then how do you thrive in that job? That's why I wrote The Truth About You. The Truth About You isn't just a book. It's a, it's a combination of different ways that people can learn. There's a video, actually a short film, that tries to set up the key points of how do you find your strengths and put them to work. And then there's, a, then there's a short book which takes up where the film leaves off. And then after that, there's some activities that the person can go do to really ground that learning and make it part of how they actually live out their day-to-day -day working life. So if you want to find out what your strengths are and if you want to tap into that passion that you know it's inside of you, and if you want to find a job that then calls upon all that passion, and if you want to thrive on that job despite all the distractions of the world outside of you, then that's what this book's about, that's what this film's about, that's what this whole revolutionary toolkit is about. So please, read the truth about you, watch the truth about you, do the truth about you, and you'll be more successful, more fulfilled, and more satisfied in your career. When I was starting out, I didn't know much. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know what job I wanted to have. I didn't even know how I was gonna pay the bills. But one thing I was sure of was that I was different than my brother and my sister. I had an elder brother and a younger sister and looking at them, I knew I could never be like them. I knew I could never excel at math and science like my brother did. I knew I could never have the same kind of physical self-discipline that my sister had and used to become a ballet dancer. Instead, I knew that I had, I had different strengths, different talents. And although I was confused about a whole lot of stuff, I was just sure that the world was gonna wait for me until one day I would, I would pop out of school and get to make my unique mark on the world. And I bet you feel that way. I mean, think back to when you were in school. You knew that in school there were certain subjects that you were drawn to, certain subjects that just grabbed your attention and wouldn't let it go, certain classes where time whipped by and before you even knew it, the bell had rung and although you wouldn't have admitted it, you kind of wanted the class to happen all over again. And if you didn't like school, then, then maybe there were certain situations you were drawn to or certain people you wanted to be around or certain times when you just knew you were at your best. And you wouldn't call those strengths, not yet anyway, but even back then you knew you had something. You knew you had something special. And now you're holding out hope that your life, your work, your job is gonna give you a chance to show everyone what that special thing is. And I've studied over the years thousands of successful people. And if you look at the world through their eyes, work can be a great place. It can be a place where you have a chance to be challenged in just the way that you like to be challenged. It can be a place where people recognize you for what you do well and then push you to get better at it. It can be a place where you get to make the kind of difference that only you can make. But I've learned something else. I've learned that only two out of 10 people actually get a chance to have a life like that. I've learned that only two out of ten people get to play to their strengths at work most of the time. Now the most successful people do, but only two out of ten people get to experience that success. And the needle isn't moving. I do hundreds of these speeches every year to executives, and I tell them a message, I tell them how to figure out their strengths and put them to work, and they hear it, and they believe it, and they want to do it, but it's almost like they're too far down the road to do anything about it. 
They've got mortgages to pay and they've got bills to think about and they've got a growing family and they've got a career and they've got promotions. And it's almost like life has pushed them too far down the road and now, and now they don't feel like they can make a choice. Well, you'll find that. You'll find that life gets really heavy really quickly. And the longer you wait, the heavier it gets. And if you're not really careful, you're going to wind up living some, some second-rate version of somebody else's life. You're going to wind up in a job where you're not engaged, a job where you're just marking time, where you're just putting in the hours until the weekend comes around, a job where you're not engaged and excited, but a job where you're, where you're bored, where you're drained, where you're burned out, where you're trapped. And when that happens, you can blame someone else. You can blame your teachers or your parents or your boss or fate. You can blame someone else, but the responsibility doesn't lie there. It lies with you. It lies with what you choose to do. So the question you've got to get your head around right now, right now, is how do you avoid that future? How do you avoid becoming one of the eight out of 10 that don't play to their strengths? How do you get to build the kind of life where you are playing to your strengths in life most of the time? How do you build that life? How do you, how do you build that kind of success? What do you need to know? And what do you need to do before it's too late?